the Son of God was the prototype for the sons of God. Romans 8 and verse 29. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. It is very interesting as we look at Jesus Christ as the Son of God. That the Apostle Paul and the writer of Hebrews later on, which we will reference, point to Jesus and say that he is the firstborn among many brethren and that we, God has ordained for all of us to be conformed to his image. In other words, the Father's desire is for us to grow into the very image of the Son of God. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, is the prototype, is the example, is the pattern after which the sons and daughters of God, that we who have been saved and born again, that we are to grow into and be conformed to. So He is the prototype. We are to walk as Christ walked. And as we have uh, taken time this week to look at the various aspects of how Jesus walked. He walked in the intimate presence of the Father. He walked in obedience to the Father. He walked desiring to do the will of the Father. He walked in step and in time with the Father. He walked in the power of the Spirit as you and I must walk as Christ walked because He is our prototype. He is our example. As sons and daughters of God, we are called to be like Him. In Hebrews chapter 2, verses 10 and 11, the writer of Hebrews says, For it was fitting for Him, for whom are all things and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons to glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect, through sufferings. For both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren. What an interesting thought to say that we are all one. We are all called to be uh, like each other. He is the firstborn among many brethren. He is the captain of our salvation. And we are brethren. We are many sons being brought into glory. Uh, and we are called to be like the son who is the captain or the forerunner or the front person of our salvation. I want us to understand, very simply put, God wants us to be like Jesus. And you and I have only one desire, that we want to be like Jesus, the Son of God. As sons of God, let's walk like the Son of God. Let's pray. Help us, Lord God, to have one desire, to press into this one thing, to walk as Christ walked, to walk at the standard at which He walked, to be like Him in all things. Help us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.